Welcome to Jumai Television, your home action figure news. On today's G.I. Joe news, it'll be a small one, but a sweet one. Today, there's some info of some legitimate code names that turn into figures. Oh, could have done that around the other way. Excellent, let's start off. You may have seen on Twitter, at 80s Toy Boy, listed three code names that were found in the Target inventory. Let's put the images up on screen there. Dior, or Dion, depends how you've gone. Hyperion, Rhea. Now those are all listed as G.I. Joe CS, classified series, theme figure. Now the theme is the important part here, which means they're going to be the Tiger Force and Python Patrol figures. They are listed at $22.99 each. They are just added to the plethora of names that we already have as code names for upcoming figures next year. As you know, the podcast What's on Joe's Mind released that little list that they had that rumoured all the characters that were coming next year, like Crockmaster and Dusty and so forth. And they all got code names right down the list. Then there was Full Force Podcast who found some code names that lined up with characters from that. And we have three potential figures that are going to be classified, starting with Luna, which was the code name. It's going to be a Tiger Force Outback. Ta-da! Outback. That's what we need, more Aussies. I'm hoping this is true, and then the Australians find out about this, because the Outback is pretty much our backyard. This will bring the, the hype a bit better. Like, I hope G.I. Joe sells better in this country. That's I'm praying it does, because at the moment, it's very hard to get figures in this country. Retailers aren't stocking them. Just need them out. If Outback's there, they should have been sold 28 million times over. That's everyone in Australia, by the way. Uh, two code names I've talked about on this channel before, Solar Flare, Solar Eclipse. They look like they're going to be Python Patrol figures for the Bats and the Vipers! Which is very interesting because we saw those uh, crude images from China of these um, throwaway bits and pieces. Hello, Vipers. <laughs> I don't know if people are saying that's Ali Vibes. Python Patrol Viper, still cool. Can't wait to see it. Interesting news. And yes, with the Zartan, people did walk into an EB game store in Canada and buy it off the shelf because it was put out too early. People have it in their collection. Here's one of the lucky punters who picked one up. And, it, and honestly, I have to give a shout out to my good friend Will because he's the one who warmed up everybody and actually started telling everybody in our hunter group that these things were starting to show up. Yesterday, some of these things started showing up at GameStops here in Ontario, Canada. And honestly, things just started to dial up to 11, guys. This was insane for all G.I. Joe collectors. This was, this, this was the one that we've all been waiting for. Guys, we, we started getting our hands on Master of the Sky Zartan. Oh my gosh, this was just absolutely incre incredible. Take a look. Five faces. Oh my gosh, just absolutely insane. This, this, is, what, this is what I was really thinking that was going to be the hardest thing to get at, at, uh, at, the, at, at Hasbro PulseCon. And yeah, here in Canada, we got them a month early. A month early. I can't freaking believe it, guys. Holy crap. This is just insane. You know what? Uh, we already seen it in the video. We've seen a little bit more details. But this is just a wonderful, wonderful package design. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer myself. And this is, this is the kind of beautiful project that most designers just uh, absolutely dream of. We just don't make packaging like this anymore. It just doesn't happen. You know, the cutaway here, the actual open window, the fact that this rotates to actually reveal multiple faces. This type of packaging design is very, very, very expensive. The overall, um, you know, design and, and um, you know, uh, engineering that goes behind this in terms of like how the box folds over to make it a single unified piece to fold, that folds over into a box. This is huge in terms of actual packaging design. Guys, this is insane. And we get this wonderful presentation of the Dreadnox logo right here on this side. And of course, the main prize itself, we do have Zartan, Master of Disguise, right here in his glory with all of his head, with, with all of his additional um, uh, masks and swappable heads. This is just absolutely insane. Since it's available after the Hasbro PulseCon, it's around that day, 22nd, 23rd, then they'll go, hey, it's live, because it's already listed on Hasbro Pulse, it's, uh, it's coming soon. If it's available in Canada at EB Games, it could potentially be available in my part of the world, here EB Games in Australia and hopefully New Zealand, you'll be able to pick up that Zartan with the spinny wheelie and the lots of different faces. Looks like a sweet piece, the Master of Disguise Zartan. Get your hands on it if you, if you can. It looks amazing. 
Quick little news bite, thank you very much for joining me. If you'd like to support the channel, smash that join button. You can become a member. It, it helps support the channel, so thank you very much. If you'd like to buy a little bit of merch, there is an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. Click that link, buy yourself something nice. It also helps out the channel, as well as the Redbubble store, where you can pick up some merch with Usual Mike Television's logos on it. Excellent stuff. If you'd like to follow me on so social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30, or on Instagram at UsualMikeTV. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.